Yeah. Hilariously, moving on, Harry and Meghan's odd little hagiographer, Omid Scobid, has been exposed as a liar by, you wouldn't believe it, uh, Prince Harry. <laughs> in his propaganda piece on the couple finding freedom, remember that, Scobie claimed Meghan took part in a stage kidnapping as part of a security training course where she, quote, was bundled into the back of a car by a pretend terrorist, taken to a different location and then saved by officers firing fake guns. It goes on, Kate didn't undergo her training until after her wedding to William, but Meghan's took place earlier as the couple had received an unusually high number of threats. Anyway, it all sounds very dramatic, doesn't it? And authoritative from little oddball Scobie. But here's <laughs> Prince Harry to tell us what really went down. There's been some reporting about the palace deciding to instruct Meghan guerrilla warfare and survival tactics in the event of a kidnapping attempt. A best-selling book describes the day special forces came to our house, all of which is utter nonsense. Meg wasn't given one minute of training. Now, Scobie oh. blamed who else? the palace for standing up the apparently false story. But I would say to Scobie, don't take it personally. After all, Harry's book was a pack of lies too. <laughs> McGithin, Malone, <laughs> Nigel Nelson, do stand by.